For anyone that's been following me over the years, like greenhouse production is a big part of the success that I've had in market gardening. But more and more now, as I think about it, with climate change, where, where the climate is heading, having greenhouses, bigger greenhouses, and a greenhouse where you can control a little bit of the climate is, in my opinion, the game changer. And it's going to be how pretty much all the growers start doing it in the future because of climate change. Here at the old mill, uh, it's not a huge market garden, but the greenhouse is quite big. This is a 35 by 135 greenhouse. And there's a lot of cool features in this greenhouse. Uh, I've been working over the years with a lot of different greenhouse companies, but the one that I really like is Arnois. They're based here uh, in Quebec, and I have a lot of great personal service with them, but also they're one of the biggest manufacturing greenhouse company in North America. So they have a ton of experience and the model that we have here is has a lot of interesting designs that's what i'm going to show you but we're going to sh visit the greenhouse together uh, regardless first of all end doors i think end doors are really important you want to make sure and, and what i'm what we're going to be visiting today is true when you're heating the greenhouse or if you're cooling it it's the same thing you want to insulate the building as much as possible and so that that equates having a double poly system for the roof so there's two layers of plastic and there's an infl there's a fan that inflates between the two plastic that's what creates the r value that will mitigate heat loss or you know uh, just overheating the greenhouse but the end walls to come back to them they're in polycarbonate for two reasons first of all because again we want to insulate these walls more this is this this is the north facing wall so it wants to be more insulated and it's because it's more durable and so sometimes in other projects I, I've just put uh, one layer of plastic but end walls it's an investment that in my opinion is worth it and big doors to have more airflow uh, is also something that to look into whenever you have openings make sure that you have all the material to make sure that it's tight. The door is all sealed. Uh, the, the, these are simple strategies that will cut down the cost of energy, but also you might design at one point the greenhouse to seal it for certain insects. And so that's something to think about. If we're in the greenhouse, you see this one is pretty big. Again, it's 35 feet wide and it's a gothic style greenhouse. Uh, here in our climate, that's really the way to go because it sheds the snow, but also the rainfall, the way the rain uh, drips won't come in to your end walls. And so that's also important because you don't wanna have water coming into the greenhouse. And this design, I don't really know exactly why, but it's, I think it's probably, from what I've heard, about 40 years of research, it just lets more light in. And light in certain periods of the year is the limiting factor. So the, the gothic shape is good for that, and then the plastics. The plastics are important. You really need to get good plastics. Uh, uh, they should be UV treated. That's like the 101, but thick, Plastics that are designed, good plastics for greenhouse makes a difference. Uh, this one has a no drip strategy. So the, the, when the condensation, condensation uh, in the morning, the dew won't just kind of drip and come inside the greenhouse. I've seen it in, in, other, in my first few years of farming. That was a big problem on a lot of my crops. There was excess humidity all the time because the dew was kind of dripping also inside the greenhouse. So, these plastics that I've chosen here, they get rid of that problem. That's really neat. Uh, if we go inside, there's one thing that I've learned over the years that's kind of counterintuitive is like the bigger volume of air, the better. Because it's just when you open the door in the winter, you lose less heat to the outside. It's, it acts like a buffer. And it's the same thing if you're cooling. That's where it's kind of counterintuitive. It's like if it's bigger, you can, you can have more flow in it and it's not going to overheat as much as a smaller house. So volume counts, it, I, you know, there's more cost to it, but it's still an investment. And you know, greenhouses, they usually, 
uh, pay themselves in the first year or in the second year, especially if you learn how to grow with you know the proper greenhouse techniques and strategy. But it's always a worthwhile investment. Statement that's tested, trial, true. Ask any grower if they regret purchasing a greenhouse, they'll say that they don't regret it. So it's a, it's a good investment. Um, so big volume of air, and that's where these fans come into play. They're really important because they'll work on the airflow and they'll avoid the dampness in the winter and in the summer, that's how you cool down. Uh, the way it's set up here, like most growers, uh, this is a roll-up system, so we're manually opening uh, the sides, but you have a skirt, and the skirt plays two important roles. The first one is you can really dig it under, so it, it doesn't allow rodents to get into the house, and it creates just like more of a thermal insulation with the bottom. But also the airflow coming in, if it's a windy day, the fact that it's not directly onto the floor, onto the beds, it's not just like blowing directly on the crop, which makes a big difference. And so we have a skirt, it's about three feet high, and then the airflow is coming above a lot of the crops, especially in the winter, and then you'll have the airflow with the sides, the end walls, and the fans. So you want to get the air moving. Um, here we have this system where we have a greenhouse in a greenhouse, that's for winter production, and we have the thermal blanket that's going to be covering these crops in the winter. We did an awesome video about that on the channel, you can check that out. Uh, but now we're in the summer, and we have the summer crops in, and these crops, you know, these are tomatoes, they'll be lower and leaned. And again, having as much light volume airflow is what allow us to grow these crops and not have too much disease. So design matters, the shelter matters, and then it's, you know, what you do with the situations. But having a greenhouse to control humidity uh, with the different systems, to control heat or uh, bring some coolness in it is such a big part of being able to do these crops inside. And again, coming back to the main point, I think in a climate change era, having somewhat of a control over the weather is gonna be the deal breaker between, you know, having s some success that's more on the guaranteed side that just field crops, in my opinion. So pole beans growing on a string. Uh, if you come back here in two or three weeks, you'll see just a wall of beans. That's highly productive, and we can really maximize the square footage with revenue with these. Uh, celery is another uh, lucrative crop to grow here. Uh, we'll come and once the plants is established, we'll make bunch by just taking two or three uh, side shoots and then we'll make bunches like these. We'll have these celeries for you know a good three four months so they're highly productive and then we can play with the water we can add some supplemental fertility you know it's under control and and that's the point again it, it helps. So zucchini squash uh, there these guys are dead we're gonna mix them we're getting close to planting, not yet the fall crops, but eventually we will. Basil, always successful. Hot peppers. You know, hot peppers for the chef here at the old mill, they're a big part of what we want to grow that's kind of like specific. Uh, we have certain hot peppers that Eric, the chef, really wanted. So these are coming in nice. And then these are the fruit trees that are going to be planting in uh, the fall. So that's the summer setup for this greenhouse. Things are really pumping out, I'm really excited. Uh, we did one video in the spring about all these systems. You can check that out. If you wanna learn more about greenhouse growing, you can also check out the work that we do at the Institute. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing well. I'll see you next time. JM out.